The ABC has learned that next week's federal budget will contain measures that could affect your health care, specifically plans that will make prescribing generic drugs standard practice for doctors. The changes could see savings of as much as $2 billion, money that will go back into bringing new drugs into the PBS. The CEO of the Consumers Health Forum, Leanne Wells, joins us now from Melbourne. For more on this, Leanne, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Uh, what do you make of this announcement? We welcome the announcement, Kumi. We think it's, um, you know, we know that the Australian community value our universal system. That includes Medicare and, of course, our pharmaceutical benefits scheme, which uh, highly subsidises drugs for people and keeps them affordable. So anything that uh, can invest more money into uh, the capacity of the PBS to bring new drugs onto the market in a subsidised way at the same time as keeping old drugs that have been on for a while more affordable is a really good thing. So just talk us through what happens then when a patient goes into the doctor, they're prescribed a particular drug. Generic drugs at this stage aren't the first drug of choice? Generic drugs aren't the first drug of choice, so we understand the, the proposal that the government's considering is to make the generic drug the opt uh, in option um, that doctors in conversations with their patients would have to opt out in order to prescribe uh, a branded drug. But we don't think that's a bad thing because of itself it promotes a discussion between patient and doctor about, about drugs of choice. Um, and, you know, the generic, generic drugs are safe. They're not, um, despite what some people in the community might think, they're not second-class drugs. They're highly regulated. They're, they contain the same active ingredient as a brand forerunner. They're very safe and um, they're, they're, they're very affordable both for patient and, more importantly, the taxpayer. So um, we, overall we think it's a, it's a very good measure and very good for the sustainability of the PBS. The uh, Australian Medical Association has come out against this proposed move saying that every patient has different needs. Uh, it could interfere with doctors' independence, uh, specifically pointing to things like uh, generic brands don't necessarily have different colours in, in the pills. For elderly people it might be more difficult for them to know which ones to take. Uh, what, what do you make of the AMA's uh, criticism against this? Yeah, look, we think the criticism is pretty unfounded. I mean, there's, there's no doubt that, um, you know, older people, particularly those that are on a lot of medications, you know, recognise their medications by the colour of the pill and can become quite confused. Uh, but... Again, the, the system is, is one where the doctor's choice isn't being taken away, as we understand it. The doctor can always override and prescribe a branded medication in consultation with the patient. Um, but I think we, we think it all points to the need to take a quality use of medicines approach, uh, to be doing regular medication reviews, particularly with older people that are on, are on a lot of medications and the need to, you know, bolster the education we have available in the community about the safety and appropriateness of generics, because on the whole they are the same. Are they the same active ingredients as the forerunner? OK, uh, Leanne Wells, we so appreciate your time this afternoon. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.